So some amazing news for anyone who's ever wondered if we're not alone in this universe. Come on, all of you have, right? Well, a new planet discovered in the constellation Libra is 20 light years away, and it's believed to have all the ingredients to sustain life, which means we're going to have an interesting conversation right now with Dave Brody, science and space correspondent for Space.com. Good morning. Hey, Alex. So this is planet Goldilocks. Why? Yeah, well, you remember the story, right, Alex? Sure. Not too hot, not too cold. Everything is just right. In this case, the everything is it's just right for water to form in the liquid state and the gaseous state and the solid state, just like we have here on Earth. It orbits at just the right distance from its star, mm -hmm. tiny little old-fashioned red dwarf star lasts mm -hmm. a million mm -hmm. years, uh, and orbits at that distance that it could remain liquid. So do we know there's life there? No, we don't, but the conditions are such that it could form. We have one astronomer who's affiliated with UC Santa Cruz who said he is pretty close to 100% certain there will be life on this planet. Right. That's it, pretty amazing. It is pretty amazing. Amazing. I think to say that right now definitely would be a case of, I don't know, premature congratulation. Right. Uh, we need to look longer. <laughs> uh, but this is a very good first step. It, it's a very exciting discovery. Why? I mean, you and I, we have to, I have to tell all of you that we were in the, in the makeup room earlier and we were just all giddy about this because I'm sort of a space geek and, and you are too. But it, what is it about it that makes it important? I mean, it's exciting to think about, but why is it important? I think we all want to know where we came from, where we're going. And right now we have an example of exactly one, this little old planet Earth. Well, mm -hmm. turns out there are maybe 400 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy alone and 50 to 100 other billion galaxies. Right. Uh, we found 400 planets now looking at just the very closest stars to our own. So this means there could be trillions and trillions of planets in the Milky Way galaxy. What are the chances that there be other folks approximately on our level of intelligence and communication that would want to talk with us? It's been very lonely being the only intelligent yeah. communicative species here for a few billion. Yeah, this Goldilocks planet, though, as I understand it, has a temperature reading potentially of negative 24 degrees Fahrenheit up to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. That's right. not exactly sustainable for human life. Well, here's the deal. I mean, that's the case for the entire planet. I'm a science reporter, so I walk around right. planets that's in my pocket. <laughs> this particular planet is in tidal lock with its star. It goes around this way, always the same face uh -huh. facing that star. Oh, so I see. One There's side no axis hot, upon which cold. it's turning. Yeah, it doesn't turn. So that means that there is a zone right here where it's mm -hmm. very temperate climate. Mm -hmm. Now, because it's in tidal lock, that zone will stay that way for a long time, and the star can be very old. Lots of chance for evolution to take place. So the polar bears and the penguins of that planet could evolve to migrate to the cold side and the tropical fish to the hot side. And you could have an ecosystem in this other Goldilocks zone right here on the planet. Gliese 581G is its name. Yeah, it is so cool. Dave Brody, come talk with us more and we get some more info on it. Thank sure you. Sure will. Thanks, Al.